Uh, okay guys, may I have your attention please? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, we are going to go on with a demonstration of IELTS speaking module. So today with me we've got Nalish and uh, she's going to appear in her IELTS test very soon and uh, I'm going to ask her the questions and the way she answers then I will tell you what is missing, what can you add further to improve the quality of your answers, right? Okay, now let's you're feeling okay? Yeah. Good. So let's take a start with IELTS speaking part one. IELTS speaking part one is what we call introduction. In this part, examiner will ask you some general questions on familiar topics. What are familiar topics? If someone asks me about my hometown, that's a familiar topic. If someone is going to ask her about her favorite color, that's familiar topic. If I ask you about your favorite food, so all these are familiar topics. In speaking part one, there isn't going to be anything that you say general knowledge questions, right? Who was the president of Japan in 1972? Not like that, right? So it's all general. Now, how to answer questions in speaking part one? Simply, the first thing is answer the question directly. Directly means don't give background, don't just, if they ask you any question, tell me about your hometown. Hometown is very important part, people live in different hometowns and blah blah blah. Not like that. These type of answers are going to irritate the examiners. I mean if you answer like that, it means you are going to irritate the examiner. They ask you what's your favorite color. Colors are very important in life, different people like different colors, all wrong approach. So if the question is what's your favorite color, you should say my favorite color is black and I love this color and then move on with that, right? Now I will ask you some questions from speaking part one and after each answer, I'll give you my feedback on that so that you guys understand what is missing and how she can improve further, right? So let's take a start. Do you work or study? I study. I'm student in business administration field. Okay. Where do you study? I study in a university which is situated in my hometown. Can, can you hold this mic and speak in the mic? I study in University of Sarkar which is situated in Lahore. Okay. Alright. Now the first question is just to understand the candidate. I said do you work or study? She said I am a student. Now examiner is clear that my question range is the questions which are appropriate for students. So they will not ask you any question which is for professionals and all that stuff, right? And she answered very well. I study and then she talked about university and now I can ask her questions about her favorite subject, about her education, about anything like that, right? So this first question should be answered very, very clearly, okay? Now let's go on. I'll ask you some more sub uh, questions. Yeah. What is your favorite subject and why? Uh, well, it's a very fascinating question. Accounting is my favorite subject because I want to pursue my field in business administration. So there I need some accountancy like substitution, addition. So that's why accounting is uh, one of my favorite subjects. Okay, now the good thing is she did not repeat. Like for example, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is accounting. I like accounting very much. Accounting is my favorite. Accounting is very good. Accounting is that. Not like that. Remember, whenever you answer the question in part one, divide it into three parts. The first part, answer the question directly. Whatever the question is, you need to give a direct answer. Part two, elaborate your answer in two to three sentences. And part three, you can conclude your answer in one sentence. So, in order to conclude your answer, you can say, to answer your question, my favorite subject is accounting. If the question is, what's your favorite color? At the end, you can say, to answer your question, black is my favorite color. So this is one sentence conclusion. Oh, yeah. So far so good, you understand that? Yeah. Now, I ask you some more questions and you got reply. What is your favorite leisure activity? Uh, well, my favorite leisure activity is listening music while doing evening exercise because uh, it's an activity which makes me very peaceful and calm. I just feel relaxed and I forget all my tensions and queries about the whole day. So that is the favorite part of my very good overall it's all good just one grammatical mistake whenever you say listen and then music you must add to listen to music in my free time I listen to music so to is something which you should use otherwise your answer is good 
uh, like if I talk about the length of your answer, that is perfectly fine. Let's go on. Do you prefer to spend your free time at home or outside? Well, it depends. Sometimes I love to go outside when the weather is quite good and uh, you can say bearable. Then I prefer to go outside. Otherwise, I like to live in my home and spend a quality time with my family and uh, with my own self. All right. Very balanced answers. Very good answers. Keep it up like this. Okay. Do you think you have enough free time? Uh, well, I don't think because I have a very pathetic routine due to my studies. I just have to go outside uh, due to my study uh, activities and uh, then uh, there are some or other activities which I have to perform at the side. So I don't have enough time, you can say. Okay, that's good. Now, one more thing. Whenever they ask you questions, they will ask you around five to seven questions in speaking part one. Sometimes examiner is going to say why, why. You answer the question and examiner says why, why, what does that mean? That means your answer is short. That means your answer is insufficient. So you need to give detail. One of my students, he just texted me yesterday and he said, sir, I answered every question and still examiner was saying why, why, why. Why means you are not giving reasons for your answer, especially in part three. You need to give reasons for your answer. So if examiner says why, that means you need to add more in the next question. And you must answer that why also. When they say why, you can say there are several reasons for this. First of all, and then talk about first reason. Okay. okay. Now we go on. I'll ask you some more questions from speaking part one. This time my question is, what's your favorite food? Uh, well, I love fast food. Apart from this, I also love desi food which is made by my home, uh, by my mother, like uh, our traditional foods. But mostly I love to eat fast food due to their uh, taste. Okay, that's right. Now, you need to organize your answer more. Remember, desi is not English word. Uh -huh. So, instead of that, you can say traditional food. When you use the word traditional food, that means any food stuff that you have like part of your traditions right one thing second if you talk about food items one thing that you must be careful about never use local dishes and their names what's your favorite food i like harissa nihari siri pai chote bade uh, or i like this and that not at all just use english words and try your level best that your ielts speaking test is in in 100 percent english not like Urdu. What's your favorite food? I like uh, gobi ki sabzi very much. That is my favorite. Sometimes I like bade pai as well. I don't like chote pai. I like bade pai. And if there are any kulchas, I enjoy with halwa. That's my favorite food. Not like that, okay? So, total English. Even you, I mean, don't talk about your favorite food. You can talk about pizza burger and all that but you have to speak English over there right sometimes you don't know how to say a certain dish in English you have no idea now you say you start thinking khichdi ko kya kehte hain huh? khichdi ke chakkar mein speaking test bhi zaya so examiners are not interested in your answers it's not that I want to know what's your favorite color not at all it's part of the routine whatever you speak is fine okay so just like that all right now let's go on how often do you go to restaurants uh, well i go twice in a week uh, because whenever i just free and there is weekend i prefer to go outside to enjoy some dishes um, and uh, to change my taste as well all right now let's see i give one answer to the same question and then you can see what part is missing okay. right there is one more thing sometimes your answers are monotonous Monotonous means for every question you have the same answer. Then another question you have the same style or you give answer in the same style. All you need to do, you need to come up with variety. For example, what was the last question? How often do you go to restaurants? How often do you go to the restaurants? Now first answer the question directly. I go to the restaurants almost every weekend because I am quite foodie and I love to eat outside Therefore, every Saturday night, I choose one of my favorite restaurants and I go there sometimes with my family, otherwise with my friends and we have a great party on the weekend. Something like that. And when you speak, you have to talk happily. 
They say, what's your favorite restaurant? I like this restaurant very much. It is good. I go there with my family sometimes, friends. Not like that, okay? One thing we call intonation. Intonation means according to the question, you are trying to express yourself happily, sadly, or there is anything surprising and all that. Right? Now let's go on. I ask you some more questions. This time we change the topic and you answer. Would you like to learn any foreign language? Yes, I, I would love to learn about English. Even I know uh, that how to speak English but still I'm not very good so I would love to make it more better in the future because it's an, English, uh, it's an international language and I want to pursue my career in foreign country so that's why it's uh, really important for me. I, love, I would love to learn it. Okay, much. overall answer is good. Try to use some more connecting words and remember more and better cannot come together. Better is the second degree of adjective, right? So better means more good. Right, so you will only say better with better, don't use anything like more and all that. Right, so this is a little demonstration of speaking part one. Right.